Hey, how's it going, folks? A question from one of the viewers out there, from Mr. Eman916. Thanks a lot. Learned a lot from this tutorial. Was wondering if you can show us how to insert video into a video, just just how you explain picture in a picture. Just curious about video into video. Thanks a lot. Okay. Without any further ado, let's get into this tutorial, Mr. Eman916. Okay, folks, so let's get into this cutaway thing here. First, we're going to need a couple clips of video. What I'm going to do is grab a little section here. This was at the Austin Zoo. And it's not a, a typical zoo. It's kind of like a, a zoo for rescued animals and stuff like that. Let me make some more room here. Ooh. And then um, I want to do the cutaway. So let me find... A clip that's kind of totally different. Let's just do the climbing part, I guess. That's good. You're going to drag it over top here. So now, um, let me go ahead and mute the clips by dragging the sound down so we don't have any interruptions. Right now, it does a, a complete re replace here. But we have some options. As you saw in, or haven't seen, in the previous picture in a picture video, once you highlight this clip here, the video overlay settings um, option shows itself or if it doesn't you click on the, the icon here and it'll show it and you have cutaway blue screen side by side and picture in a picture so I thought I'd do a couple of these we'll start with the cutaway and we have some choices here a couple options that they give you basically you can change the opacity so you can do like a complete fade kind of thing here so both clips are running at the same time which I guess, you know, you could probably figure something out to do with your editing. I don't think I'd ever use it now that I think about it. Let's go ahead and get back into this editing. Um, let's get back to normal. And then this fade control here is kind of, it's a, just a transition. So you can set it for uh, fractions of a second up to seconds. Oh, I actually got that completely opaque. Let's do that. So... You notice it fades in like a, a normal transition. It's pretty much your only options for cutaway. You get the opacity here. You know, the amount of see-through, see-through ability. <laughs> the amount of uh, uh, transparency, that's the word I was looking for. See-through ability, that's a weird word. I made it up, coining it right here. See-through ability, otherwise known as transparency. <laughs> okay, and again, you can control the, the seconds longer or shorter, and you see, down here, once I set it, you know how you now have points that you can actually, you know, control, or you can just do it up here. Either way, up to you. Okay, so let's change to one that I've never really messed with until this tutorial. And before the tutorial, I went through a couple examples on my own, just kind of mess with it and see if I might use it. Is side by side, and I think this can be a good option if you have the right two clips. And again, once you highlight it and click on the, the options here, you can have it switch right or left. And you can control the, the speed that it slides in at. So I put it pretty slow here. And you can kind of have a look at how slow it slides in. So hold on. Right there. And again, I'm recording the screen, so I might get some hiccups here and there. Plus, it's still rendering. So I think that, that option I might actually use. So, so far we've done the cutaway and we've done the side by side. The picture in a picture I showed you in another tutorial, but I'll go ahead and show it real quick. You know, once, once you have the picture in a picture here, you can do with it what you want. Control the color of the board. Let's make it bright yellow so you can see it. Drop a shadow on it by checking the box here and put it pretty much anywhere you want. Then again, you can control the zoom if you want a zoom transition or if you want a dissolve transition, you have the option to do that. And the swap transition, I never use and I, I don't like it at all, so I'm not even going to show you how to use it. <laughs> you can mess around with it yourself if you want. So, okay, what else do we have here? So we've done the cutaway, we've done the green screen. We haven't done the green screen, that'll come in another. T Actually, I did. Yeah, we did green screen. 
check in uh, links down below. I'll put a link to the playlist that has all the tutorials. Okay, so um, another option, if you don't want, let's go back to cutaway actually, let's go to cutaway. If you don't want just this, this generic fade at the beginning, right here, and you possibly want to do like a, you know, like a real transition, I would just split the clip here, either right click and, and um, or, or command click or right click split clip or you can use the shortcut the command B which is what I use so find out where you, you know maybe I wanted the same place I do command B and now we got two clips so I'm gonna dump this whoa make sure I highlight the whole clip and now it's effectively doing you know a uh, cutaway but the best thing about having it this way is you can actually do different styles of transitions and I don't know what's a good one um let's see what's that look like let's do a puzzle I don't know never tried this one there you go so you know your options are pretty much limitless with with the amount of transitions you can do how about a mosaic we'll dump that one in here see how that looks and again if you want to control the length of it, you can actually add. Let's do like a three second. It might be too long, but see how that looks. Whoa, very slow. <laughs> and again, we're recording and it's probably still rendering it out. Or you can just have no transition, just a quick jump cut of sorts. So that's that's another option. That's kind of more what I would do when I do cutaways because I prefer to have more control of, of um what kind of transition I want to use, the length of the transition, this, you know, the speed, the length slash speed, I guess you would call it. Whoa, that was too fast. <laughs> let's, let's make that uh, 1.5. Gonna apply it. You know, that's more like it, something like that. I think I would do something like that. But that's that's how I, I kind of I would do this this cutaway or 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 uh, other thing like that. Let's jump, drop this back up here. Go into our video overlay settings. And again, you can do cutaway or side by side or picture in a picture, but control the, the fade or even opacity if you like, but that's pretty much your only options for when you're doing it that way. Okay. I hope that answered your question. And uh, if it didn't, Put some posts in the comments down there. Give that thumbs up. Subscribe. Support the channel. I'm trying to hit 5,000 in the year 2015. We're we're pushing. Uh, we're getting close to a thousand. So I put a goal of 5,000 because I wanted to like really try to push myself to get it up there. But actually, I'd be happy with a thousand. <laughs> but don't tell anybody I said that. Okay. So see you guys next time. There's a couple more, a couple handful more tutorials I'm gonna do this week. So subscribe to stay tuned. Peace and aloha.